Hello and welcome to another video. This one is a question that was asked by Panos Track on Twitch who wondered, what is a TTY? You keep talking about stuff being or not being a TTY. What's up with that? And I'm here to explain that. So let's jump into it. Okay, so the concept of a TTY actually goes back really, really far and before I was born. So I had to do some a little bit of research to figure out what it actually stands for. Because, uh, you know, I've been using the acronym, but not, not really understanding what the meaning behind it is. And TTY, I believe, comes from teletypewriter, which was a typewriter-like device that allowed you to connect to a mainframe and, you know, interact with a console in that way. Now, of course, we don't really have typewriters or mainframes as much for most people, I guess there are still some mainframes, and I'm sure there's some hipsters that are still, you know, tapping away on their typewriters, but uh, for the most part, when you're working with modern computers, you're not dealing with either of those devices. But the concept is still present in modern uh, computing. And we'll kind of go over some other related topics as well while talking about TTYs, and we'll eventually get to the, you know, the, the actual answer to the question. Um, but when you're when you're working in a terminal in uh, <laughs> on like a Linux or a POSIX-like system, uh, the technology that you're using is what's called a terminal emulator because it's not a true terminal. And in in my case, I'm using the terminal emulator uh, GNOME terminal. Now, a lot of people will just refer to this as a terminal or a shell or a. <laughs> I guess those are the only words they would use. Uh, but the shell is actually a separate technology. The shell is the <clears throat> program that the terminal is running, uh, which receives commands and does stuff. So in this case, my, my shell is bash. Um, and it's, it's the one that's, you know, going out this, this PS1, which is the like prompt text. And if I do, if I type a command into it, it will run that command. Oh, this is actually a built-in, so bin echo hi. <clears throat> <coughs> sorry, if it were to run a command, and uh, it's, you know, is interactive. You can type stuff into it, and it will receive your input and handle it. And that also kind of uh, defines what a TTY is. A TTY, or at least when you're talking about <laughs> Unix pipes and files, a TTY is something that can accept input from a keyboard. Um, and so uh, we'll actually use a Python function to see whether a um, whether a stream is a TTY or not. So let's open up a little file here. Uh, we're going to be looking at the standard streams today. Let's see. Uh, sys.standardin.isaTTY. And so there's this is a TTY function that's on all the streams. And I'm going to use a new Python 3.8 uh, feature here, which is, at least I think I did this right. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, and there are three standard streams. There's standard in, standard out, and standard error, and they each have this is a TTY method on them. If we run this, oh, please be right. Uh, oh, it'd be great if I could spell. <laughs> it's like, why did I get an error there? Uh, yeah, okay, cool, and I, I and did the uh, did the new feature right? So unrelated to this video, but if you have an equals at the end of your f string uh, placeholder, it will print out the value or the this string here, then the equals, then the value. So you can see when I run this at an interactive terminal, input, output, and the error stream are all true. Now you might ask, what what is the output and the error stream? Uh, they both kind of look like output when you're just looking at a uh, terminal. So if you do print foo file equals sys dot standard out, and we'll print bar to standard error. If we run this, you can see like it, it basically looks like it has different output, uh, or it, it looks like it's the same output. But you can redirect each of those streams separately. So you know, I redirect output to dev null, it will still show the output from standard error, but these things that went to standard output, so print goes to standard output by default, uh, were gobbled to standard error. And you could write those to a file instead, and you can see if I cat foo, you get the, the output here. 
But actually, you'll notice one thing changed here as part of piping that output. And I was writing this out to a file, and you'll notice that sys.standardout.isattty was false. And that's because this stream was not connected to the interactive terminal. And we can actually make uh, all three of those streams end up that way. So if we um, you know, pipe standard error to some other file, say foo2, um, uh, <laughs> I don't remember how to do this. Like that? No? <laughs> two, oh. Yeah, sorry, I didn't need the ampersand there. Uh, so this pipes standard out to foo, and this pipes standard error to foo too. So if we cat foo, you can see that uh, standard error was not a TTY, and standard out was not a TTY, because both of those were piped, um, or redirected. I guess if they were piped, it would be a little bit different. So this would be, if we piped standard error, let's just pipe it to cat. So you can see, or standard out, piped to cat. And if we pipe standard out and standard error to cat, you can see both of them are false. And the is a TTY for standard in is whether the input is interactive. And let me do a quick example. You guys can still see that, cool. Uh, we can use the input function. Uh, print received input. Enter your name, something like that. Just a nice little prompt, and uh, it'll tell us what we what we received as the output. Let's actually open this over here so you can see the code while we run it. And you'll see, oh, I forgot the F. <laughs> I forgot the curly braces. Ah, uh, easy mistakes. Um, but if we run this again, you'll see that it's prompting me for my name, and I can type stuff in here, and like, it it is an interactive prompt. So if I were to type, you know. Anthony Satilli, uh, you'll see that it printed out received input Anthony Satilli. And that was because it was an interactive prompt. But if we were to pipe something into this, so let's say like echo uh, someone else, and we pipe that into this uh, program, you'll see that standard in was not a TTY here. And that's because we had a non-interactive thing connected to the input. And you'll see that the uh, prompt still worked here. But we don't print anything like as we're typing out. Uh, typing out, the echo command here is what's sort of typing into this program's input. But yeah, that kind of explains TTYs. Uh, hopefully this was helpful, or you know, showed you some some interesting things about teletypewriters. Anyway, if you guys have any additional questions, feel free to leave them in the comments, or hit me up on Twitter, or you know, show up in my Twitch chat, anything like that. Uh, but thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys around in the next one.